Now at 11, an officer-involved accident over the weekend on I-75, actually late Friday night, has a Kettering couple vividly recalling their own tragedy. Tonight, Dayton Police Officer Byron Branch remains in the hospital, badly hurt after he was crashed into while responding to an accident on icy roads. It is a very similar kind of crash that killed a local police officer and firefighter 18 years ago. Two News reporter Tyler Yutska spoke with the Calumets tonight. As we learn more about the rookie Dayton officer who was severely injured Friday night, a Kettering couple is remembering the son and young officer they lost the exact same way. It hurts like yesterday. Nearly 20 years later, their hearts remain broken. It never goes away. It was January of 1998 when Paula and John Calaman's son, Centerville Police Officer John Calaman, was at the scene of a car accident on I-675 when another vehicle lost control on the icy roads and hit and killed him and a Washington Township firefighter. I don't know why these things have to keep on happening. A similar scenario late Friday night when Dayton Police Officer Byron Branch was investigating a crash on I-75 and according to police, a driver lost control of their vehicle due to icy conditions, hit Branch's cruiser, sending it into him and another person. Both sustained serious injuries and are currently receiving ongoing medical treatment. According to Dayton Police Chief Richard Beal, Officer Branch is a rookie, being sworn in just eight months ago. He's also a newlywed and new father. Very new officer, uh, spoken very highly of by the academy staff that trained him. Friday night's accident remains under investigation. The Calamans know the Branch family's pain. They turn their agony into action. Following the death of their son, they were instrumental in getting the move over, slow down law passed. No matter the weather, but especially when the road conditions are poor, they encourage drivers to be mindful of first responders. There are people out there your grandmother, your mother, your sister, your brother, they're at jeopardy the same as everybody else. Just drive with common sense. And Dayton Police Chief Richard Beal said late this afternoon that he is very optimistic of Officer Branch's recovery and possible return to duty. Right now, there's a fund set up for Officer Branch and his family. You can find that information on our website, WDTN.com. Tyler Yuska, 2 News, working for you.